Laura London and the Ali B back in action for Pilates Meets the Gym. Hey, Ali B. <laughs> hey, Laura London. I'm super pregnant. How are you? <laughs> I am. I am fine. I'm awesome, and I am so so excited for you, girl. Oh, thank you. It has been um, a crazy seven months. I love it. I'm. So, so happy, and um, Aria is so happy, my other daughter, and obviously my husband's happy, but it's just so great, like, growing your family is one of the funnest things you can do, um, and it doesn't matter, you know, if you're having your own, or you adopt, or, you know, you have foster kids, or whatever, I think children really make you see the world totally different than, you know, you would without them, so I love it. So so true when they say out of the mouth of babes i have so many stories <laughs> of what things that come out of my kids mouth but yeah. it's mother's day coming up we're here mm -hmm. doing a mother's day show for the yes. pilates meets the gym i just have to say you look radiant you really look beautiful so thank pregnancy you. suits you very well oh thank you i tell you it's so funny it stopped raining in portland and I, there's actually a thing on my Facebook about it. I, I stole it from Herbivore, had it on their Facebook, and it's like, it stopped raining in Portland, but now it's too hot. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, it feels like summer already. And people are like, how are you going to do being pregnant in the summer? Well, there's a million women pregnant in the summer, and Aria, I had Aria in the summer, so. But yeah, I'm I'm sweaty. <laughs> oh, I remember I have a June baby in Florida. So talk about summer, humidity. Ah. Oh. Oh uncomfortable for sure but we all get through it and that that is kind of the topic of today's conversation with us is being a mom and everything that we go through makes us stronger having those kids okay. having people depend on us just I know has made me a stronger woman I can do things I never thought before and we do it because we have to Right, absolutely. There's no, there's no vacation for moms. I mean, there really isn't. Even um, with Aria being back and forth between um, our house and her other house, it's you know you're on call twenty four seven as a mom, and you don't really understand. I remember I really had a big hand in raising my godson Liam, and from like nine months old, one year old to about five, he was with me all the time. And I remember people telling me, oh, when that baby comes with Aria, you're going to have no idea what hit you. And I thought, oh, I, I helped raise my godson, but they were totally right. You have no idea <laughs> until, you, until you have your own, what you're really in store for. And it's, it's a very exciting, uh, hilly ride for yeah. sure. I always, um, I always say I'm going to write a book, what they don't tell you about motherhood that you need to absolutely. know. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And you have three kids, and you are, how old are you now? I will be 47 next Wednesday, May 15th. So And so this is funny because I'm May 22nd, and I'll be 36, so we're May babies. <laughs> yeah, May babies. Yeah, but it's crazy because Ari is about to be six in July. And how old is your youngest? I can't remember. My, my baby is 13 right now. So I have a 13, 15, and 19. And, you know, you think when your kids get older that it's going to be easier. It's not easier. They're, they still need mom. They just need you in such a different way. Um you know, I thought, oh, I'm, I'm going to, you know, this is the time of my life. I'm going to relax, kick back, do, get a little bit of more of me time. Nope, just as busy. Yeah, oh, absolutely. You're taking them to different activities and managing a whole different set of things. And I think one of the best things that I love about having people in my life like you and a lot of my clients and um, other fitness friends and family is that when you have kids, you get to really – you see like what your habits are and you see what you want to change about yourself because they pick up on things so quickly. And I know with Aria, you know, we'll be going to Whole Foods and all the Whole Foods in Portland, um, they have like lots of stairs. 
And she'll be like, and all little kids like to push the buttons on the elevators. Oh, yeah. But she'll be like, Pilates girls take the stairs, Mom. And I'm like, that's right, Aria. <laughs> and so I know it, it's so it's so great to even if it's like the littlest thing, if you're trying to transition yeah. and do a healthier lifestyle, just showing your kids you take the stairs, even if everything isn't perfect in that healthy lifestyle yet, those little things make such a difference. Yes. And I know yeah. like you're, you have two daughters and a son, and how have they dealt with having a mom that was... The everyday mom who didn't quite have her health, but then turned into Laura London. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? It's been quite an adjustment in our household. Like you said, going from just mom to to mom right. with muscles. At first, they didn't yeah. quite know what to do with me. They weren't really, um, they were a little, I don't know, apprehensive about it. And, what you know, what's mom doing now? Total 180, that's my mom, ask her to flex. So, you know, <laughs> they support me 100%, which is awesome. I couldn't do do it without their support. But you said something before about Aria, you know, no, we, we're Pilates girls. We take the steps. Because we're in the fitness industry, because we're moms and taking care of ourselves, our kids see our habits. And they might not be, you know, drinking a green smoothie or, or, or eating raw, but they're exposed to it. So they have this knowledge when they're ready to go and use it. That's what's so beautiful about it because so many children aren't exposed to this kind of a lifestyle. And we really need to, to spread this ripple effect amongst our, yeah, our children. you know, I, I call it the trickle-down effect on the iTunes show all the time. It's like if you can help just change somebody's perspective or lead by example just a little bit, um, yeah. it just trickles into your neighbor, into your kids or your kids' as friends, and, and, that's, and that's so important. I, I just love that. And I've been to your house and at my house, too, you know, getting these crazy fitness shipments and these <laughs> supplement shipments, and, you know, it just becomes really second nature in the household. And... I remember I was on this vegan, um, I was in this vegan group the other day and this girl had made like these melt in your mouth and it sounds weird but it looked really good. It was these carrot pesto cookies that melt in your mouth and of course super healthy vegan. Right. And um, I can't remember, I think she was applesauce as the sweetener, I can't remember. But I wrote my daughter, my five-year-old would love this and she goes, Allie B., you have a five-year-old, like almost didn't believe me, you have a five-year-old that would eat pesto. And I'm like, I have a five-year-old who eats raw mushrooms, asparagus, <laughs> avocado, See, you know. so <laughs> wonderful. It is, it is. And I could easily, you know, have the opposite of that. It's just that, you know, the way Doug and I live our lifestyle. But you, you can make those small steps by taking the steps. I'm noticing right. we always take the steps with mom or every day we always wake up and have breakfast. You know, growing up, I know my parents did their best, but I didn't grow up having breakfast every day. And that's like such a huge thing just so that you don't like lose your mind by three hours into school. You know, I'd be so starving as a kid by lunch. It was like, oh my God, I have a hysterical story. My father, he was European. He would make every day, every day for me, a soft boiled egg and a piece of toast. So I had breakfast. That was so important to him to send me to school with some nutrition in my body. It's funny. For sure. Yeah. I love that. I love those stories. And, you know, if anybody has any great, like, leading by example mom stories or questions about wanting to change, um, you know, some of the dynamics of how you can be a better um, impact on your family with your nutrition or your health or whatever it is, um, you know, email Laura or myself because we'd love to talk about it on the show and take your questions. This show, I think Laura and I live for like one thing and that's just to inspire people, you know, really. Yeah, so definitely I'm going to put the links to our emails down on this video. Send us your questions. We're going to be answering them on uh, the Pilates Meets the Gym. We're so super excited about this show to finally get it up and running again. Yeah, yeah. Allie, I've got a question for you. Yes. What's on your iPod? <laughs> oh, really? This is what we were kind of laughing about how embarrassing this is. Well, it really, um, I'll give you like my top three things right now. Um, right now, it's Britney Spears. I know, I know. Britney Spears remixes um, the Pet Shop Boys because I'm a big 80s new wave big fanatic. 80s. Pet Shop Boys are coming to Portland, Oregon, and I got 
front row tickets. Oh my gosh, how exciting. I know, and it's like eight weeks after I have my daughter, so my assistant doesn't know, but now she knows. Cynthia, we got front row tickets. Love you. Anyway, so that and then um, this this book called, um, what is it called? It's an audio book. It's, it's the leader with no title, I think, or something like that. Lead with no title or the leader with no mm -hmm. title. Lori Harder actually told me about it, mm -hmm. and I got it, and I've loved it. I've already listened to it one, one and a half times through. I think it has a really good message for anybody, whether you own your own business, whether you just want to lead by example, we're talking today about in your family, whether you work, you know, in a hotel cleaning rooms, mm -hmm. being the best that you can for yourself um, will always reap rewards. So it's great. And so it depends, you know, what I'm in the mood for. I'll listen to my audiobook or my Pet Shop Boys or Britney Spears right now. <laughs> I love What's it. What's on your iPod, Laura oh. And It can't be worse than mine. <laughs> oh, well, my iPod is actually stuck in a time warp because iTunes actually baffles me a little bit. So I have anything, it's crazy, from Led Zeppelin to Dora the Explorer because everybody's oh. music is on my iPod. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, so I can be working out really hard and all of a sudden I get some, you know, kids song, Aaron Carter, I Love Candy, and it's hysterical, <laughs> it's hysterical, so I can't pick out one main one, I just, I just need music at the gym, put it in my ear, and I zone out, honestly, it doesn't matter what I'm listening to. Yeah, no, I love that. And honestly, you just reminded me, I'm pretty sure that always on my iPod as a fixture is the SpongeBob SquarePants theme. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> always. Sometimes our interviews will come across on my iPod, iPod too. But um, <laughs> you know what? I'm always listening to motivational audiobook yeah. CDs in my car, on my iPad all the time. I, in my car, I call it a mobile university, and I just stick them in. I just came back from an awesome awesome seminar in Arizona with Michael Burnoff he it was an action-packed weekend of personal motivation and just learning deeper about yourself so I'm listening to a lot of his audios right now on my iPod and I know you've been doing a lot in Arizona um, like you've been taking some trips in the past year to Arizona and I think you work with a company out there, and I work with a company out there. You work with Asante, right? Is that how you yeah, say it? I have, yeah, Asante Organics. Oh, that's great. And you, I've been at your house and, and tasted some of their products. I really like them. And Health Force and Warrior Force just moved from California to Arizona, Tucson, um, which I have family there and in Phoenix. And um, I would love for us to meet up in Arizona at some point, Laura, and do like something fitness out there would be super fun. Ideally, not in the summertime. In, in but, the desert uh, with the cactus. Every <laughs> time I go out there and take a picture with a big cactus, I'll have to put that on here. But yeah, exactly. Asante Organics is awesome. They're an amazing company. They're doing all 100% organic, toxic free for your for your home, for your body. So that's really what I love about the company. Um, and that's cool because I feel like they're a really good match to Health Force because Health Force, what I love about Health Force is that like 90% of their products are stored in tinted glass. Yeah. It's beyond, I mean, it, it really is. I know Asante's hardcore organic and so is Health Force. I mean, it's ran by a doctor. It's an amazing company, a husband and wife. And I just feel like Robert Cheek got me into them mm -hmm. um, a while back. And they were a really big part in the end of and in middle part of my transformation. And I've always said I like two companies. I like Health Force, which I used to call Warrior because Warrior Force is part of their labels and right. I used to get it confused in my head. Right, right. But that and Garden of Life. Yeah. And I have to tell you, it's an easy pick for me because I'm vegan. Right. They're a vegan, you know, Warrior Force is a vegan company. Garden of Life is not. And right. so for me, it's like if I had to choose one or the other, I just, I like the way they store their products. I believe in their products. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because just today I just tried their healthy fats and I put it in my smoothie, Laura, and it was like I finally cured my almond butter addiction. Uh, yeah. It was like chia seed and flax seed and ground up perfectly and it was so nutty and rich. But I think I used like a ta or not even a tablespoon, a teaspoon of it or something Love crazy. It. Really small quantity for really big flavor, right. but I'm not afraid of fat. You and I have had yeah. this conversation. 
So no, no, no. You need fat yeah. in your body. I just made a video this morning saying you need fat in your body. You lose fat. You need to eat fat. So yeah, really, really mm. important. All right, Allie B, we're gonna wrap this up. I gotta go pick up my kids from school right now. <laughs> Never ending, right? Being a mom. <laughs> so. I just want to take this time to wish everybody a happy Mother's, happy Mother's Day. Day and Mother's to our mother to be. Yay! Yay! <laughs> you guys see she's got the cutest belly. And oh. and just again, really on an end note, take the time mm. to take care of yourself because when you do, you're a better mother and your house just runs a little bit smoother. It does. And send your questions to us, moms, not moms, people wanting to be moms or husbands or brothers or whatever. Anybody. You have fit, yeah, fit, health, wellness, any kind of questions. If we don't know the answers, we know somebody who does. So you know what I say, today is your tomorrow. Thanks, Laura. All right. You've been fabulous, everyone. Bye-bye.